First of all, congratulations, Leah, on planning a wedding at one of the few places where you couldn't mess up the directions and getting to our childhood home. Evan, when I asked you to tell me how you know you wanted to marry Leah, you said it reminded you of when you two bought a house. There was a feeling you got when you walked in a house almost right away, an indescribable feeling that told you if it could one day be a home. You said the same was true when you met Leah. You felt so at ease with her, she made you feel like home. And not only did she make you feel like home, but she made room for two adorable features that you brought with you. You told me how humbling it was to find someone who accepted you and your girls with open arms. This home you have found in each other is a thing of beauty, and I'm so happy to officially sign the title today. <laughs> Leo, when I asked you about Evan, the first thing you said in a rather confused tone was, he really doesn't seem to have negative thoughts, ever. Ever. I know you don't like poetry, <laughs> But when I was thinking of you and how lucky I am to have you, I felt the urge to write poetry, sing songs, make art. You bring out my favorite parts of myself. I feel like for the first time in my life, I am truly my whole self with you. You are as close to a perfect partner as I could have ever dreamed. How beautiful you are, the way you smell, how thoughtful and giving you are, all the love you show me, you set the bar extremely high, and I love that about you. The path to you was not straight, but I'm so grateful to have you now. You know that I don't like change or compromise or deviating from the perfect plan I had designed for myself, but I did it without hesitation when I met you, and I would do it a million times over as long as it meant that I'd get to end up with you. When I say that, I mean all of you, Lily, Olive, and you, and all of the good, and the bad, and the challenging a million times over. I don't know when liking you shifted to loving you, shifted to feeling like I had never lived without you, but I have felt safe, secure, loved, understood, inspired, encouraged, and protected the entire time I've known you. Regardless of if everything goes right or everything goes wrong. You're the first person I want to tell everything to. Every single version of me feels loved and safe with you, and that is the greatest feeling I have ever known. I love you because of the way you love Lily and Olive, and because you're the best father to them. <laughs> I promise to be present with you. I promise to shower you with attention and love. I promise to truly listen to you, which means sometimes just listening and being there for you and other times taking action to meet your needs. I promise to grow with you and continue to learn how to best love you forever. I love you and choose you today and every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, because you are the most patient person I have ever met. You are gentle, but so, so strong and resilient. You hold no grudges and always act with your heart instead of your ego. You're the most selfless person I have ever met. <laughs> I promise to spend the rest of my life loving you and working to be the best partner I could possibly be to you. You are the most wonderful thing I've ever been able to call mine. I love you more than you could ever know. I promise to choose loving you and understanding you more than I choose being right. Remembering that while time with loved ones is important, sometimes you just need to finish that to-do list. <laughs> Evan, do you take Leah to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Leah, do you take Evan to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. By the virtue of the authority vested in me as Deputy Commissioner of Civil Marriages, I now pronounce that you are married. Evan and Leah, you may kiss. I now present to you, for the first time ever, Evan and Leah Parrish Payne.
dress is so beautiful and like definitely a change from the pants she normally wears in a relationship. <laughs> um, We've been in each other's lives and a part of each other's families for like 18 years. So I guess, Leah, that would have made you seven years old when you started hanging out junior year. But you know, that's neither here nor there. You know, it's all good. She always sets the bar high for herself. Um, I often think to myself, I'm like, Leah has the same number of hours in her day. What the hell is my excuse? But what I'm most proud of her is, is who she is as an individual, as a person. If it is something he wants, he goes after it with all of his heart and never gives up, just like you do, Leah. She made the time for athletics, schooling, uh, friends, family, working out more, meal prep, and she also made time for occasionally swiping on that infamous dating app, <laughs> Tinder. So, once upon a time, it's the fall of 2016, two strangers had their settings aligned, the radius, the age range. Evan was leaning in from the start. First one to message, asked Lee out to breakfast on their first date, going for the kiss, and the first one to say, I love you. With Leah being in law school, you'd expect a response like, so what supporting evidence do you have for that statement? <laughs> However, her response was, I love you too. Evan, you're so sincere. You're not afraid to say the hard thing, and you have so much compassion, and you can be vulnerable. I love how you have the warmest smile. I think that's something so affectionate about you. You embrace life, and you truly are a compliment to Leah. I have watched Leah come to love and adore Lily and Olive, and the girls come to adore and love you. That takes a special type of person to stick on someone else's children. It can't be easy, but you've done it with style and grace. And that's one of the most impressing and amazing things about you, Leah. I want to thank two people who are the reason why I know everything's going to be okay. Sorry, I'm I have a stepmom and a stepdad, God I <laughs> It's really all a throw up to love me half as much as I love and I'm thankful for my step parents and everything was good. <laughs> But no one says marriage is going to be easy. It takes patience, understanding, hard work, and endless amounts of love, which is very evident amongst the two of you and the girls. Here's to the past for all that you have learned. Here's to the present for all that you share. And here's to the future for all that you will do together. We love you guys with all of our heart, and we're so happy for you guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.